What? Oh, people are here. All right, perfect. So now that now that I got all the yelling out, right? Let's talk about remedy now. Let's talk about solutions. Let me teach you something. Let me teach you about what they don't want you to know. All right. So this is the document I'm about to go over real quick. I've been. I went over this on my live on uh, YouTube live. I think I was live. I don't know, but it's on my YouTube. All right, I'm going to go over this document. <clears throat> so that this is the source. It's about uh, not about. It's a, an ex it's exactly a thousand and five pages. I'm going to go to some of the uh, actual documents that this the Senate committee um, went over in front of everybody, in front of the world. They don't hide it. All right. So if you just Google search. Um, Senate.gov, and then you look up, you know, so Google search Senate.gov space church committee. Um, you'll see it on Senate.gov. You click on the link, then you scroll down to where it says final report. It's a hyperlink that you click on. Uh, then it takes you to a separate page where there's additional links. Scroll down to the bottom to where you see volume six, FBI. And you'll see exactly what I'm about to go over. All right, so this is on page 383. All right, this is 386. All right, this is 387. This is 388. Page 388. This is page 389. So if you go to this, if you go to this document on not my opinion dot fucking com, not my not my belief dot net, not risingthemores.org, Senate dot gov. This is their goal. Prevent the coalition of militant black nationalist groups. In unity there is strength. A truism that is no less valid for all the strictness, an effective coalition of black. Pause because the phone's about to die. You plug in, it's right there. Hold on, I gotta charge. I gotta plug the phone. I I got those. I'm gonna it. That means thank you and kanji. All right. Is this charging now? I have no idea. All right. So this this is their goal. An effective, excuse me, an effective coalition of black nationalist groups might be the first step towards a Mao Mao in America, the beginning of a true black revolution. So if no, if your leaders ain't talking about this, they don't give a fuck about your freedom. All right, number two, prevent the rise of a messiah who could unify, electrify the militant black nationalist groups. Malcolm X might have been such a messiah. He is the martyr of the movement today. Why? Because they murdered him. Then they say, um, uh, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Stokely Car Carmichael, and Elijah Muhammad all aspire to this position. Elijah Muhammad is less of a threat because of his age. Uh, Carmichael could be, excuse me, no, this is uh, Martin Luther King, could be a, a very real contender for this position should he abandon his, obedient, his obedience to white liberal doctrines, nonviolence, and embrace black nationalism. Stokely Carmichael has the necessary charisma to be a real threat in this way. All right, so now, their goal is to, is to stop us from being militant. That's their goal, right? So guess what our first fucking priority should be? Be militant. No shit. So since this is about fucking being militant, I want to show you this. First, I'm, in the Marines, uh, we were issued these. This isn't a Trigicon, but it's like a, it's like a Trigicon. It's an ACOG scope. It's uh, four times magnification by 36, if I'm not mistaken. Right? This is what it looks like on the inside, minus all the blue stuff. So the blue stuff ain't there. And it's, it's obviously well better, you know, it's better than this. It's just I drew this with blah, 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 this stuff right here, right? So when you look through the chevron, this is called the chevron right here, this red part that I'm coloring in. That's called a chevron, right? When you look through it, the tip of the chevron is within 100 yards. So anything within 100 yards, if you put this right on it, you're going to hit it, right? So anything within 200 yards, if you put this part on it, you're going to hit it, 
right? And then this right here, this is very important. This right here, this width right here. Because that is what you use to gauge distance. So what they teach us in the military is if you want to gauge how far someone is, if, if this left post and this right post is on the left and right shoulder of, of the average male uh, shoulder width, they're within this distance. So all you got to do is put red on them and they're dead. Literally, that's it. Fucking simple. And then every other subsequent line, it works for windows. It works for doors too because those doors and windows are, are measured to the average width of, a, of an individual, of an adult individual. So if, if, you're look, if you're aiming down range at four times magnification, four times magnification, and you see someone really far out there and you want to know how far they are, if they're within 400 yards or you think they're within 400 yards and you put the 400 line on their left to right shoulder, right, and they, it doesn't fit within it, then you try the 500-yard line. If it doesn't fit within it, then you try the 600-yard line. If at the 700-yard line, right, their head and their shoulders fits within that, right, that's their arms, right, this is their fingers and shit, right, this is their fucking stupid-ass feet, and they got the devil horns because they're the enemy. If, if the, well, this is the 800-yard line. If the 800-yard line fits within their shoulders, that's how far they are, and that's what you shoot at. You don't shoot at this because you're going to miss like an idiot. You shoot here. No, because uh, w when you shoot a gun, when you shoot a gun, right? Let's. This is the gun, All right? That's the fucking trigger. It, when you shoot a gun, there's something called bullet drop. The bullet don't go straight. That's that's not what it does. It fucking arcs, right? So if if you're aiming, if the person's at the 700 yard line, and you're aiming with the 100 100 yard line, that bullet is gonna fucking drop. Yeah. So what you do is you would aim your muzzle. It's, it's kind of like uh, when you shoot a bow and arrow, right? When you shoot a bow and arrow, right? That's the fucking bow and arrow, right? That, bullet, that arrow is going to drop because of the weight of it. So if you want to shoot further, you do what? You angle the bow and arrow to shoot that shit further. Same thing with a gun. Same thing with a gun, right? So let me fucking paint that shit black so you can see it. Fucking arrow drop. Boom. Same thing with a gun. So, all right, let me pretend that this is like where the target box is. Mm -hmm. So I can put this red on the target box. Mm -hmm. So remember when we were shooting? Yeah. And, uh, and we were busy yelling it? Every time you aimed at it, the target was like this. Because it's within the it's within that range. Because we were shooting at the thirty six yard line, so of course that shit's gonna be within it. You know what I mean? That's why when when I said it, it's red. You're dead. Because if you're within three hundred yards, all you gotta do is put red on the target. Any type of red, any redness, and that nigga's dead. You understand what I'm saying? And and then at when when you get towards the three hundred yard line, you know uh, that's when windage starts to affect it. That's why you have. You know the uh, the other lines on your scope, like that. Obviously, better. That's what that shit's for. You know, what I mean, so if your target's going left to right, right? If they're going left to right, you might want to use this. So if a person is like here, right, you wouldn't aim this red thing at no. them. No, because because that this line is the eight hundred yard line. So it. it it, it, it equates to you aiming right here if you were at the 100-yard line. That's just simple, right? It's because of this bullet drop. Understanding why. I think that's actually why I was having trouble <laughs> with the shooting because I remember... No, nah, we, were, we, were, we were 36 yards. Yeah. So bullet drop ain't affecting that at no 36 yards. Bullet drop barely affects it at the fucking 300-yard line. It's once you get further than 300 yards, yeah. that's when the bullet drop starts to happen, which we were not shooting at 300 yards. Okay. In most urban situations, you ain't shooting at no fucking 300 yards. Right. right, so you BZO, you BZO your rifle at 36 yards because 36 yards with this scope is equivalent to the 100 yard line. Don't, don't, don't let it confuse you, just accept that for what it is. It's just, that's what it is because of the magnification that you're dealing with. This scope right here is a four times magnification. So when you BZO it at the 36-yard line, 
it's equivalent to 100 yards okay. because of the magnification, right? So once you BZO at 36 yards and you're hitting where you need to hit, that means if you aim at 100 yards and you put the front sight post or the tip of the chevron on your target, you're going to hit it because of the magnification, right? Then since the bullet drops, right, as you get further, you have to literally aim your muzzle higher. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's pretend that this is a straight line. Hey, can you hold this? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let me erase this. Let's pretend. Alright, because we're all, we all like to live in the fucking land of make believe. Let's pretend that this is you. All right, and you're holding your stupid ass gun. And you're really excited about shooting. All right? And you got your little fez on. All right? And let's just pretend that this is the 100 yard line. And this is the 500 yard line. Got it? So at the 100 yard line, your target. Let's just act like that's a target. That's not a human, that's a target. Your bullet is not going to drop, right? Imagine that's a straight line, right? But if you're aiming at the 500-yard line, this is the target again, and you try to aim the same way at the 100-yard line, your bullet's going to do this, which means what? You're going to miss, right? So what you have to do with, with, the, with, the, with the optic, when you look through the optic, you're raising your gun, right? So instead of your, your gun being straight at the 100-yard line, when you aim through your reticle, Right? What you're really doing, what you're really doing is adjusting how high your muzzle is pointed. Mm -hmm. So that way, when the bullet does drop, it drops right on the fucking target. Um, That's what those lines are for. No, that shit is retarded simple. And trust me, I've been in the, I, I was in the Marines. I served with Europeans who were dumb as rocks and they can shoot. Because the shit ain't fucking hard. It's just if you don't know, you don't know. Mm -hmm. That's literally it. That's it. And then when, when you start to get past the 300-yard line, that's when windage starts to affect how you're shooting. That's when if the, if the wind's blowing left to right, if the wind's blowing and, and left to right, right? Mm -hmm. If you're aiming downrange and you see trees moving left to right, that means you have to move your, your gun towards the left a little bit, depending on the, the, the mile per hour, miles per hour of the wind. So you may, it's called Kentucky windage. So instead of adjusting your radical, your, your, uh, your fucking, your clicks on your scope, instead of doing that shit and fucking up your old BZO, you just move that shit. Mm -hmm. that is, and then if you're in a fucking combat situation, guess what? You already did your BZO. So you don't got to do no clicks and it's already wartime. You're not shooting for no fucking marksmanship. So you can just shoot, bang, bang. All right, I'm hitting left. Let me fucking, let me move my shit to the right. Bang, bang, now you're hitting the target. So th this, the, the fundamentals of marksmanship are used so you know that in a combat situation, you can, ducky, you can tucky win that shit. Unless you're a fucking sniper. Which snipers have way more, way more hours of shooting, way more hours of training, way more observational skills. So that way they can, they know which clicks to make for their, for their windage. So they don't have to Kentucky win shit. But that's, that's advanced shooting. We're talking about basic. You don't got to know shit to pull the trigger. <laughs> That's what we're talking about right here. All right. And and once we start shooting more, you'll see how stupid fucking easy this is. If the wind is blowing, if you notice that right when you're about to pull the trigger, the wind is real fast, you might want to wait until that wind slows down. And then once the wind slows down, <sighs> bang, rest, natural respiratory pause, and you'll see wind don't affect it. Mm -hmm. And trust me, I was in the Marines. Ask Brother Lucid Flattery, he was in the Marines too. He already knows. We spent hours and hours and hours on the fucking range, weeks on the fucking range. You already know all that shit is stupid easy. A fucking caveman can get that shit. This is what they don't want you to know. This is what they're using against you. Why do you think every time, every time they, they, they shoot those fucking smoke grenades at people, why do you think they shoot that shit up? Um. Because the weight of the, of the grenade itself is going to bring that shit down. Mm -hmm. So they, they do what? They fucking Kentucky, well, not Kentucky windage, but they make their adjustments based on their reticle to compensate for bullet drop. Yeah. 
It's called bullet drop compensation. It's not complicated. It's, it's, this shit is done easy. And guess what they don't want you to know? Mm. This. Mm -hmm. Why? Because then you can start countering their terrorist activities, which they're not ready for. They might have numbers and they might appear to be ready, but the appearance, if you read the fucking Art of War, which all these idiots claim they read, the appearance is half the fucking battle. Beyond that is, like, like Red Pill said, who can be the most vicious on the motherfucking battlefield? Mm -hmm. That's shocking all. So this, 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 the, the philosophical, strat a strategic part of battle, and then the actual fucking ferocity that our fucking people lack. Don't even want to talk about it. Don't, don't even want to theorize about it. Ask any veteran who's been in a, in a firefight how long that shit lasted. Shit don't last long. Yeah. Question. Somebody asked what BZO is because as you know, different terminology and different branches. Yeah, so BZO, BZO is battle site zero. So as soon as you get an optic and you put that shit on your gun, you might want to BZO that shit. BZO just means when you pull the trigger, it's, you're hitting where you're aiming. It means battle site zero. That's what it means. So in battle, you don't want to BZO your shit because it's too fucking late. <laughs> so you want to make sure you that go, shit's done early. Yeah, if you go to the Rise of Mars YouTube channel, you'll see where we went over this already. It's in the, I think it's, I can't remember You showed the name them how the to video. do it, right? Yeah, li literally. Yeah. So it's just making sure that your sights are adjusted um, with the proper clicks, you know. So, all right. I'll do it on here. Because I know what it is, so it's, sometimes it's hard to explain what you already know. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what, if the other How person's going to comprehend it. it yet. Yeah. All right, so let's say I'm, I'm just going to draw one circle and then another inner circle, right? So let's say with this, with this scope, I'm pretty sure it's like... Uh, one click is um, like a quarter of an inch, right? That's the adjustments for the scope, I'm, I think. I don't fucking know that. I already made the adjustments, right? So let's say you're at the 36 yard line and you're shooting, right? And you take three shots and they hit right here. One, two, three, right? These are where your bullets hit. Mm -hmm. And you're aiming, you're aiming regular. So you're aiming with the, with the tip of the chevron where you're supposed to be aiming, mm -hmm. but they hit to the left, yeah. right? So based on the size of the target, because you already know it's going to have a grid, mm -hmm. based on the size of the target, you'll estimate, okay, I'm about an inch and a half away from where I need to hit with my reticle pointed dead center. Right? So it's going to be like four or five clicks. So something. exactly. So if one click is a quarter of an inch, that means four clicks is an inch. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you're an inch and a half, you need to make four plus what? For half an inch. If four, if four is an inch, how much is seven. it happening? You have to make seven clicks. Two or three. Mm -hmm. So, right? So, if four is an inch, that means two is a half an inch. So, if you're an inch and a half, you need to make what? Six clicks mm. to the what? Mm. To the right. Which on these, you have elevation and left and right. So, if, if you were aiming down, and so if this same group was right here, you would go up about an inch and a half and right a bunch of, about an inch and a half. So you make six clicks up and six clicks to the right, right? Then what you do is you shoot three more times. Mm -hmm. So let's say you shoot three more. So you, you mark these off with your pen. So you already know you already made those, those shots. You make three more shots, right? You're not on black yet, but you're closer. Guess mm -hmm. what you got to do? Make more clicks to the right. So you say, okay, I made four. I made four clicks. It didn't bring me to where I need to be. Based on this, so let's say that this distance from here to here, that was four clicks. It's about the same amount of distance to black. Let me make six more clicks. I mean, you know, I made six clicks, my bad, six clicks mm -hmm. to the right. Let me make six more clicks to the right. Mm -hmm. So then you shoot again and your, your shit should be black all fucking day. That's BZOing. So now when you go to the battlefield, you already got your zero. You already got you already got where you fucking need to be. So now when you aim at the hundred yard line and your target's at hundred yards, you're gonna hit him. Same thing if it's at the three hundred yard line, you're gonna hit him. Same thing at the four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, because you already did it. That's PZO. Mm. That's what every cop does. 
every SWAT team member, every military member, doesn't matter what they call it, that's what they do. All of them. Even with iron sights. Even with the shit that looks like this. Oh, yeah. With your fucking front sight post and your fucking stupid ass rear sight aperture, they do the same shit. With your front sight post and your rear sight aperture? Because on, <laughs> on the front sight post and the rear sight aperture, you also have click adjustments because it's the same concept. You still have to compensate for bullet drop. It's the same shit. Mm -hmm. Except on a what? On a pistol. You don't, you don't gotta do that. Yeah. Unless you have some type of optical, which you shouldn't be shooting at no fucking 100 yards with a fucking <laughs> pistol. Anyway, you idiot. <laughs> you're wasting your bullets. You're wasting time. You're letting everybody know where you're at. And they probably got scopes and you don't. <laughs> All right. You might as well throw it. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just give up. <laughs> And that's just basic, that's basically, you already know the fundamentals of marksmanship where, you know, your, your target should be blurry and what you're aiming at should not be blurry because that's what you need to hit the target with. Mm -hmm. So your front sight post should be clear and your target should be blurry. Same thing with your reticle, you, whatever you're aiming, the red reticle you're aiming at should be clear as fucking day and target in the background should be blurry. So what you, what you can do is you can adjust your eye relief or, you know, your, your eyeballs a little lens. So you can, you know, make the uh, make the target not blurry. So you say, all right, I'm aiming at that guy. Like then, adjusting your eye focus? Yeah, like a lens. Mm -hmm. just, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So you look at the guy, you're like, all right, that's my target right there. All right. Just so you know, it's fucking clear. I'm not going to shoot nobody. I'm not an idiot. All right, clear. Boom. I got to back up if you're going to aim it so I can oh, see. Man, I'm not gonna aim it. Oh, okay. All right, so let's say I'm in a fucking combat situation. I'm like, all right, I see fucking Bob. I radio in to whoever. Hey, is our target fucking Bob with a beard and he's wearing blue shirts and whatever the fuck? And then the radio guys will be like, yup, that's your fucking target. And tell you to fucking engage, you stupid idiot. All right, cool, because you already know what this motherfucker looked like before you even go on the mission. But just to confirm it, you got to do it anyway. All right, cool. So I see he's wearing blue. All right, he's fucking sitting the fuck down. Okay, he's not moving. So let me focus on my fucking reticle now. Bang! There you go. Just like that. Because remember, this this is like four times magnification. So you can see shit that other motherfuckers can't. Somebody asked, you a regular or cross-site shooter? What? If you're a regular or cross-site shooter. Cross-site? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean shooting with both eyes open? I'm not sure what a cross-site shooter is. I never heard that. Maybe held tight. You see how easy it is to admit when you don't know what the fuck something is? <laughs> hey, instead of me making some shit up, I'm <laughs> this type of shooter. I never heard that. Oh, they said left or right eye. Oh, right eye. That's it. This is, this is what they don't want you to know. Don't believe me. Go to Senate.gov. I already showed this to you. I already showed it to you. I already did a whole YouTube video on it. They don't want you to know this information. Why? Because this information is how you can invoke justice from about fucking 100 <laughs> to about 300 or, or 1,000 yards. Freedom at 1,000 yards. They don't, want, they don't want you to be able to do that. Because these motherfuckers ain't ready for anything like that. How do you know what to do? Because I was in the fucking military and I, and I know how to observe. And they're not ready for any type of anything. Mm -hmm. So what they do? counterintelligence program to prevent the rise of a messiah who can who can teach our people this shit unite them and tell them hey stop killing each other you fucking retards stop joining their military like i did you fucking retards and let's fight against their oppression they don't want that matter of fact let me read it to you one more again you don't gotta believe anything i say don't i don't want you to this is what the fbi call and tell pro is remember i just read congresswoman barbara lee in 2017, with the national, with the Congressional Black Caucus, read on the House of uh, on the House of Representatives that 2.0, uh, excuse me, counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO 2.0 is on the rise. This is COINTELPRO. Number one, prevent the coalition of militant Black nationalist groups and you need their strength, a truism that is that is no less valid for all its strictness. An effective coalition of Black nationalist groups might be the first step towards a real Mao Mao, look up Mao Mao, in America. The beginning of a true black revolution. Now, no fucking paperwork, you retard. Not you. Us. For thinking that. We're retarded. For thinking that. Number two. 
prevent the rise of a messiah who could unify and electrify the militant black nationalist movement. Hold on. Sorry, buffering. Of course. <laughs> Can you still hear us, even though the video said it's buffering? I want to see what's... It says Rise of the Moors left. But I think everybody's still on this live. I don't know if it dropped everybody. No. Everyone's still there? It looks like everybody's still here. All right, great. So now, now that you know how to aim, right? Uh, it did drop some people out, but it's fine. Now that you know how to aim, it's clear, of course. All right, let me show you something real quick. Mm -hmm. Just open the door. I'm going to go call it. Hold on. Uh, damn. Uh, I lost a lot of it. Out. A lot of the viewers because of the other things. Stay seated. Out. Just place the chair this way. You don't want me to go put rest? No, no, okay. no, no. I'm not doing this again. I'm not waiting. I'm already hot. Yeah. So, since you already know that if you're ready, you're dead. When it comes to clearing a house or a building or we have to go to some facility because they have one of our leaders held there as fucking prisoners of war and they're not honoring the paperwork that we already sent. We already sent the habeas corpus. We already, we already spoke to the president. We already spoke to the attorney general. They're not honoring it. So we got to send in our troops to go fucking extract our nationals like any other fucking nation would. This is how you would do it, right? You would have obviously more than one person because we're not fucking idiots. Then you would have, you know, as an example, let's say this, this is the building that, that we're entering. We would have one team in the building. We'd have another team outside of the building. Then we had another team outside of the outside perimeter to make sure no one's coming in to fuck up what we're trying to do. Then we'd also have another team at headquarters making sure that we got enforcements to come just in case anyone tried to do some crazy shit. So let's pretend that our target is in this room and we're coming from wherever we're coming from and this is the room that we're trying to get into, right? Mm -hmm. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to do this right here. You don't want to do that. Why? Because you see my gun before you even see me. So if someone's right here and my gun's like this, guess what they can do? Mm -hmm. Grab that shit and now this shit's attached to me. So now I'm flying into the room like a fucking retard and now they're fucking me up. Mm -hmm. So what they, what they teach is it's called slicing the pie. Mm -hmm. So imagine a circle sliced, right? So what you want to do is you want to be... That this gun is, the type, is not the type, loaded, uh, just so you know. <laughs> what? I was just letting them know there was nothing in that gun. No, I already, I already cleared it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, if this is a tight situation, right? Look, look what I got. I can adjust it. Boom. So I can bring that shit in closer, right? And what I can do is I can lean up against the wall, right? So now I want to make sure no one's on the floor. I don't, I don't know the layout of this room yet. So look, look how I'm far back now. Can you start it over when you're coming in? Okay. All right, so I'm looking. I'm fucking checking. I'm, I'm moving real slow. I'm making sure that I'm not crossing my, my feet in front of each other, fucking falling like a retard, mm -hmm. right? I'm fucking walking. I'm just taking my time. I'm just looking. I'm not in, in a room like this where they can grab my muzzle like a retard. I'm backing up and I'm fucking looking. I'm making sure I can see. All right, cool. I fucking, I can see no one's behind here because I, I use my peripheral vision because I'm not a retard, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm fucking looking. I peek and then I go in, boom. And I clear the rest of what I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. All right, because I already, I already checked. When I was doing this, I can see that there's a wall here. I can see that yeah. there's a wall right here. I can see that no one's back there. Right. And your muzzle is out of the room. Right, and, I, and I'm leaning against the wall because I don't want some retard to grab my fucking muzzle like a retard and then fuck my shit up like a retard because I'm retarded, mm -hmm. right? So don't be a retard, mm -hmm. right? Then I'm at, I'm, at a, I'm at a juxtaposition where I can't see the back left corner. So since I already cleared all this, right, where do I have to go next? Right here. In here. Right, and obviously I'm not going to stop in the doorway because there's going to be people behind me because one of the things you have to know is that never clear a room by yourself. Mm -hmm. Always have your battle buddy. Always have someone right behind you who already knows, you know, this is where planning comes into play, where you already have your fire team set up within your squad. So if it's me and, and whoever, we already know no matter what room, no matter what building we're in, no matter where we go, I'm always with him. He's always with me, no matter what. All right, so uh, I'm good. So we already planned for this. So as soon as I go in, I'm going in, I'm checking this area. The person's either coming in and making sure that that closet don't fucking open on me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm clearing this shit. So he's, he or she is checking that closet. Right? Then I, I turn around. I, there's no one coming in here. I see them doing the fucking the closet area. Hopefully we'd have more members than just two of us in that room searching to make sure no one's in that room. But if not, I'm going to fucking sit right here. Because I already know no one's coming from that direction because that's where I came from. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to make sure no one's coming in to this room just in case my boys, you know, just in case anything happens. Right? And that's basically it. 
literally that's it. That's that's the main that's the main tactic that that they teach is slicing the pie. Don't cross your legs. Don't don't lead with your muzzle. And um, you know this is why they have the the subcompact guns. That's why you don't you don't really see them with longer rifles anymore because you can't clear a house like that effectively because they can just grab your muzzle and now you're fighting on the ground for your gun instead of you being in a fucking instead of you being intelligent and using your goddamn brain because you want to be an idiot, right? And that's how they teach you because you have to know don't be a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. That's how you get shot. That's how you die, mm -hmm. right? Um, also, they'll teach you know if if you're hiding, think about where you would hide. Mm -hmm. You know, the motherfucker don't want to get caught. <laughs> you know, so things like that. Look under dirty laundry because the motherfucker might be hiding under a pile of laundry. Mm -hmm. Right? Then beyond that is just practice, 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 repetition, 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 which is what they don't want us to do. They don't want you to do that. People are really enjoying this. Uh, you showing how to like slice the pie or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so, is there anything else you can show them? Uh, I didn't really dramatize slicing the pie, but what they do is, you know, they'll, they'll have you do this. Because you don't know, like right here, there's a dresser. Mm -hmm. What if a motherfucker's on top of the dresser? So I'm gonna look up there. Yeah. Right, and then since we're so close, uh, I'm, I can shoot with both eyes open. I don't need to fucking be like a retard like this. I can shoot with both eyes open because I already know at this distance, all I gotta do is put red on your stupid ass and you're dead. So mm -hmm. although it's magnified in this eye, I can still see, I can still see the computer and I can still see that in this eye, the computer's closer but my reticle is still on. So I'm using both eyes in this situation, mm -hmm. which is why you'll see they'll have the holographic site or they'll have the red dot site. Then they'll have the flip site that they can flip up if they need to, because with a red dot site, there's no magnification. So it's just in this eye, you see a red dot and you see the same thing clear. It's just in this eye, there's a red dot. So on both eyes, it looks like there's a red dot on the target. So it's easy. But with this magnification, it's a little bit harder. You have to get used to it. You know, that's why they'll have, again, the holographic side with the flip side so that way they, they can switch if they need to, you know, which is what I recommend. But I'm comfortable with this, so, you know, it's also personal preference, right? Uh, also, you know, if, let's say this is a door, let's say this door is closed and we got to breach it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go over if you have to breach it first. All right. But I'll, I'll have it with the door open. So you, you stay right there. All right, I'm just going to back up a little bit. All right. So it's called a stack, right? You'd be positioned. The front, the front man would be like this, All right? I'll, I'm gonna be in the doorway. You wouldn't be in the door. You'd be, you know, you'd be like this, so where you can't be fucking seen. Okay. Right, but just for the video, I'm gonna show you right here. I'll be right here. The person behind me would have their uh, left hand on my left shoulder because you ain't supposed to take your hand off your gun. I would look back, right, real quick, nod to see, and that nod is this where training comes into play. That nod is, are you ready, mm -hmm. right? Then the next person behind me is gonna nod to the next person behind them. Nod, 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 all the way to the last man. Once the last man is ready, they're gonna tap on the left, on the, on the, the person's shoulder, tap, boom, that means they're ready, because you gotta be quiet, right? Mm -hmm. Then that person's gonna tap that per the person in front of them, the person in front of them, the person in front of them, all the way till it gets up to me, so I know everybody's fucking ready. So once you're tapped, it's ready. I know everybody's ready. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna look back again to the man right behind me. To see if they want to, because if they want to, if, if we have to breach with a grenade or a flashbang or whatever, they're going to show me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be like, nah, not a, not a grenade. Because mm -hmm. if the, if our fucking, if we got to extract you and you're in here, I'm not throwing a fucking grenade in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm shaking my head no. Then they're going to show the flash grenade. And I'm going to say yes. Right? So then they're going to Isn't that kind of what they do in baseball? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To know what they're throwing. Yeah. The pitcher right? shows it and they're like, nah, nah, I don't want that kind of a thing. Yeah. So, since I already know they're throwing a flash, a flash bang, they're going to position themselves now, right? So, mm -hmm. my job is to do what? Open up the door. Sorry, this is our closet the slash door. office. Get that to the push and back up. And why am I doing that? So the, so, the person behind me can come up, throw the flash bang, and then we both back the fuck up. Bang! We fucking go in. We don't got to slice shit because you can't hear nothing and you can't see nothing. Mm. So, then ain't nothing to slice. From that, from that point, it's fucking get the fuck on the ground. Ain't no, please get down. Here's a fucking document, no bitch. Get the fuck on the ground. Put your fucking dick in the dirt. Anybody do anything, you're getting fucking smoke checked. That's what this is for. This, this is, this is after we filed the paperwork. This is after we filed the writ of habeas corpus. This is after we said, yo, please, the, the treaty of peace and friendship. We're trying to do this shit peacefully. This is, this is beyond that point, which is where we're at today. <laughs> this is, this is Sharon Tracy Gill Bay is still in jail right now. Habeas corpus has been sent. Why aren't you honoring that shit? This is where we're at. 
So that's what we do. That's how that's what nations do. Don't believe me. Look that shit up. Look at look at how other nations extract their fucking people. Look that shit up. Look up how China don't even fucking extradite their people. Look that shit up. Look how Venezuela don't extradite their people. Look how fucking Cuba don't extradite their people. Why? Because you ain't turning your people over to the fucking enemy. And guess what happens when one of the nationals get fucking taken? Guess what happens? You see this. This is what you see. With your fucking dick in the dirt! That's what you see. You don't see fucking, hey, uh, we're nationals and we have paperwork and we're for love, truth, fucking peace, freedom, and justice. My bad, five on the left, two on the right. You don't fucking see that. That's not what you see. You don't see that. What happened when they took El Chapo's son? <laughs> what happened? Motherfucking car <laughs> cartel and regular pickup trucks with machine guns <laughs> on that shit. Hey, give us our people back. And guess what they did? They gave him back. Mm -hmm. See how effective this is? Not even do you see how effective this is. This is what they do. Mm -hmm. What happens? What happens when? What happens when overseas one of their uh, council people or their journalists gets fucking taken? What happens? What happens in Afghanistan when one of the United States citizens get taken? Who they do they send in a fucking really habeas corpus? Is that what they do? No. Guess what? Guess who they send in? They either send in the fucking the SEAL team yeah. or the fucking Marines. That's who they send in. And they ain't coming with no fucking paperwork. They might have maps on them. They might have pictures of who their target is, but mm -hmm. they ain't fucking saying nothing. You know what they're saying? Get your dick in the dirt. <laughs> Not and half the time they ain't even saying that. They're just bullets flying. Mm -hmm. This only thing that they're saying is is they're communicating with each other. Hey, contact left, contact right, contact front, contact rear. That's what they're saying. We're saying they're saying, hey, that fucking 0800, we're going to we're going to fucking get our people out. They're not saying at 0800 hours we're gonna tap fully secure this. No, they already know what it is. They already got the brief. There's boots on the ground time. Well, paperwork's effective. Shut the fuck up. It's boots on the ground time. It's condition one. As soon as we get to the fucking LZ, that's what it is. Landing zone. Condition one means you got a round in the chamber because you're on mission right now. This ain't mm -hmm. no fucking, let's, let's send a habeas corpus that they ain't going to fucking honor again. Mm -hmm. We're fucking well beyond that point. And don't be an idiot trying to be fucking Rambo by yourself. It's trained. It's form of well-regulated militia. Practice, train, prepare for this. Not go out, get a gun right now like a dumbass and do something. No, don't do that, you idiot. Link up with someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. Train, train, train to prevent this from happening again to somebody else. But if you don't give a fuck about your nation, then okay, let your people rot in jail. And keep sending that paperwork that ain't fucking working. Keep doing it. Meanwhile, the United States is sending in troops everywhere to get to get their fucking point across. And using our people to do it. You wanna know when the United States files paperwork? Hmm. After they bombed Hiroshima. <laughs> then they sent paperwork. You know what that paperwork was? A treaty. Where 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 what? Where Japan submitted. Then they do paperwork. That's when they honor that shit. So keep thinking that these people are fucking playing. Show me, show me out of all of that, where you seen the U.S. doing that, and they got UCC paperwork on them, and they authenticated some fucking birth certificate, and they got some EIN number. You idiot. Show me. And then read House Resolution 25, Fair Tax Act of 2019, and show me where everybody's doing that shit. Any other questions? Mm, I'm not sure if anybody has questions. If anybody has questions, type them now. I'm going to swipe through and see if... Uh... And remember, they can't call me a terrorist because this is my house. I'm not outside. I'm not telling you to hurt nobody. Look up the, def the definition of terrorism. I'm not saying uh, assault nobody. I never said do that shit. 
I said, we need to fucking protect ourselves. And in a situation where we need to extract one of our nationals from a situation they shouldn't be in because some other party's not honoring some, some treaty that we have or some constitution that we have, then that's how we need to do that shit. Mm -hmm. And that's not my fucking opinion. That's what every other nation on this motherfucking planet does. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> someone asked if you practice or carry first aid or tourniquets or yep, bleeds. Right you it's, a, it's an individual first aid kit. It's called the IFAC. Quick clot is in here. Every, everything I need is in here. So if anything happens to me, uh, the person that I've been training with, I'm not going to open it because all this shit's going to come out. Show the people you. that I've been training Show with. Show your shit. I, mean, I am showing my shit. <laughs> the people I've been training with already know it's on his right side mm -hmm. and it's attached to his body. Mm -hmm. So you don't got to take some, you don't got to call the doc. Everything, everything we need is right here. So if I get shot, boom, right here, and I'm fucking... Leaking blood. You got some you, nice tampons you in there, right? Check to see if, if yeah. there's an exit wound. If there's not an exit wound, just put on fucking quick clot. Or like she said, put a tampon in that bitch to stop the blood. Mm -hmm. And then keep fucking pushing. So if I get shot in my right arm and I'm fucking used to shooting like this, well, guess what? I've been training to the point where now I can fucking shoot like this. They're asking to see it. It's an individual first aid kit. What do you mean? They want to see the stuff inside so they know uh, what's in No, it's just on. I'm not taking this shit off. Look, Google that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking this at all. Google it. It's packed in there tightly. Yeah, everything I need is scissors, little sewn kit. In this case, I got to show my fucking hole up. Talk Combat about. gauze. All that shit's in there. What else? Quick clot. Quick clot's the fucking main thing. Or a tourniquet, like you said. Tourniquet or... Uh, a tourniquet is basically if my fucking arm gets blown off, right, let's say from this point forward, and I'm fucking bleeding, a tourniquet is used about... Uh, I can't remember the... I think it's like, it's more than an inch. I know that. I think it's like six inches above the wound to fucking, it's like, a, you basically tie it so tight to the point Stopping where it your stops your fucking, your, your blood from pouring out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a, I don't know what to call it. You're, imagine, you're, imagine you have a hose, right? And it's on and there's water leaking out and you fold it. Yeah. And water stops is that's that's what it's doing to your to your veins. It's yeah. stopping your fucking shit from leaking, so you don't pass out. You don't bleed out and die or yeah. pass out. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said four inches above. High vibe and thank you. And of course, if you have a sucking chest wound, you ain't pouring fucking quick clot in that bitch. You shove that shit with combat gauze and you wrap that shit up, <laughs> and they call a fucking you back. Which that that's probably not gonna happen out here, because like I said, these people ain't ready for nothing. And most facilities that they have where they're holding our people, they ain't ready for nothing either. I'm not saying you should do something. I'm just saying as someone who thinks a lot mm -hmm. and as someone who observes a lot, these motherfuckers ain't ready for nothing. Half of them can't even shoot, right? Pizza box. Look that shit up. What's that mean? Look it up. Look up Marines on YouTube. Pizza box. <laughs> these motherfuckers can't shoot. If Luz Liz Larry's on here, he knows what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't think he's on here. We only have like eight viewers right now because the mm -hmm. Rise of the Moors dropped out. Hey, yo, Gordon. Let's see. You can get this best and plates for around 300 bucks. That's how many pairs of Jordans is that? How many bottles of Hennessy is that? How many bottles of beer is that? How many packs of cigarettes is that? How much blood is that? How much is it? How much is an ounce? Not that you would know already. Just guess. Well, it depends, you know. <laughs> how much is an ounce of straight Reggie? An ounce of Reggie, you could get an ounce for a good uh, two hundred. So stop smoking two ounces, and you can get this. Go through this. I don't know why he's asking me, as if I know. That's what I said. It's not like <laughs> How much is an ounce of sea moss? Oh, shit. That's bad, right? I could tell you how much an ounce of blood is. I don't know how much an ounce of sea moss is. Mm -hmm. We got some, though. Sea moss? People still sell Reggie? Yup. People still do. Because we shouldn't be smoking on no fucking gas. Synthetic. You should be smoking on organic. And they call organic bud Reggie. Because it's regular. Regular straight from nature. Yep. 
that gas is synthetic, which means made in a fucking lab. Yep. But what do I know, right? Mm -hmm. The gas stuff is just, uh, it's chemicals. They dump what's called, like, uh, they dub it candy and to plants. Uh, so they grow bigger, denser buds, and they create smells and colors sometimes. So without the candy, you know, you, you might get smaller buds depending on the strain because some strains have way fatter buds. Some strains have thinner, you know, thinner popcorn buds where it's like a lot of little ones, but like a lot. Or you can have, you know, just like uh, Christmas tree nugs. Uh, so, yeah, if you're dumping all this candy into the bud, you're altering the genetics, really, is what it's doing. And then uh, a lot of times uh, people don't flush their bud properly before they harvest it. So, you know, that candy doesn't get flushed out of it. So now you can really taste the chemicals. It's a whole lot that goes into it. Do you need a CCW in Rhode Island for carrying a handgun? I know long guns are open carry. It depends. Are you on are you on official duty? Because if you are, then no, you don't. So you might want to get with an organization an organization that knows law that can hire you as security and then you work that security and now you're on official duty, so you don't need one. We can do that as an organization. But since we're individuals, yeah, you're gonna need a fucking uh, a license from them. You're gonna need permission from them. It's fucking that simple. You don't need a license to carry in your house. You or don't on need... your way to work. So let's, let's talk I about mean, we, we already talked I'm about sorry, it. according already... to the constitution, you don't need a license for we already any talked of it. About that. Let's talk about something effective, right? So All let's right. say let's say let's say one of our nationals are held up in this house right here. So we'll put a T for Target. That's the Target house, right? T already, from Target. <laughs> we, already know, we already know that this house is behind it. We already know that there's two intersections on the left and right side. And of course, if we have a map, we already know which one's north, which way's north. So we already know that towards the east and west of this house, you know, there's two main streets. So we already, we already know that we're going to have one fire team, right? Four people go in the house, right? That's the door. Then we already know we're going to have to have a barricade here and a barricade here to stop oncoming traffic. So we're going to have another fire team here, another fire team here. And then we already know that we have to have an, an immediate um, protection area around the house. Mm -hmm. So if we can, you know, we're going to surround the building too. And then we're going to have another barricade right here with another squad outside to make sure nobody's running out mm -hmm. the front. We already got people in the back and the sides. We already know our team's going is in the front. So the only people that should be coming out is our team. And that's how you strategize. And beyond this is the unknown, which you ain't going to know until you get there. So you ain't going to, unless you go to city hall and get the layout of the house, we ain't going to know. And give you a out of the house mm -hmm. but other than that is what are you what are you doing you're it's called you're, you're showing your dominance of the battlefield you're showing that you're, you dominate this entire intersection that intersection the whole fucking house itself so now if the if the people on the inside call for backup you're good if they try to take the main road they can't if they try to come from behind the other houses they can't if they try to come through the front door they can't And then this could be mission one. While this is going on in this part of the city, if we had enough fucking people, we could be doing something else on the other side of the city. Mm -hmm. Which they ain't, no one's going to be ready for because every, everything's, this is where the majority of the people are. So no one's paying attention to what's going on over there. But that's enough of that. I don't want you to know too much about how I fucking think. Because you ain't even ready to fucking bear arms to protect yourself. So that means you ain't ready for no fucking mission and operation. You ain't even ready for none of that shit. So there's no point of talking about it. Just know it's in here. So if you're actually about any type of actual action or remedy, just know 
it could happen. It could happen very well planned out. It could happen very fucking strategically. And it could be fucking absolute mission success if we weren't such pussies. But since we're pussies, actually, we're not even pussies because pussies can take a beating. I don't even know what we are. Oh, snap. We're just cowards. That's it. Now I'm just going to draw stuff. This is silly time now. <laughs> now, Hero, any questions? Is that us being retarded? Yep. <laughs> oh, fucking one tooth. <laughs> uh, any questions? Um, for anybody that just joined, we were going over a bit of like self defense and and uh, strategy, you know, if necessary. Not if necessary, it's, it's absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. and th this is what we should be fucking talking about. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we're not going to talk about specific plans on what we're going to use this information for, but we should have this fucking information. Mm -hmm. And it's not hard. You just need people to know their position and play it. That's just fucking stay in your it. lane. That's it. Mm -hmm. You think. So in that diagram where I drew this, these people over here with this barricade and these people over here with this barricade and then the people inside the house, you think this fucking platoon is like, I wonder what they're doing out there. I want, I want to be, I want to be that guy. You fucking idiot. No, they got a mission. And they know that if they don't, if they don't accomplish their mission, it's going to affect everybody. It's going to affect every fucking person there. And they know that if they don't do their job over here, they're not saying, oh, I want to be the fucking guys on the inside. They might be. They might want to be that. But they already know what. You know what? In order for the fucking mission to be successful, we have to be the guys out here making sure shit don't happen. Motherfuckers don't come from the from the western side or the western flank to a fuck up what we're trying to accomplish. They're not saying, well, I want to be the next leader guy. And I want to be in charge. And I want to be the guy. And I want to be the next so-and-so. And I don't. Nah, fuck that, stupid. There's a mission. Accomplish the fucking mission. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I would. You think this guy with his rifle, making sure motherfuckers don't come in from the fucking west, from the west side, is like, let me fucking make sure I got a hundred fucking thousand Twitter followers. <laughs> no, stupid ass. They're like, let me keep my fucking head on a swivel to make sure that my fucking field of fire is good. And then this person's like, you know what? Let me keep my head on a swivel to make sure my fucking field of fire is good. That overlaps his fucking field of fire. And this motherfucker's like, you know what? Let me make sure that my fucking field of fire is good. That overlaps his fucking field of fire to make sure this whole shit is on lock. And then guess what they're doing over here? They're doing the fucking same shit. Make sure that fucking field of fire is good. That overlaps his. That fucking overlaps his. And he's making sure he's on the fucking comms. And he can fucking see these people over here. Who guess what they're doing? They're making sure that their fucking field of fire is over here is good. Their fucking field of fire. And guess what? You got fucking 360 degree fucking security. Secure party motherfucking creditors. Hmm. That's what you got. Not some, let me fucking make sure I have, a, I need 100,000 fucking likes and followers on fucking Instagram, and I need two fucking point eight million fucking subscribers on YouTube, and I need, oh, I wish I was fucking inside, let me fucking call Susie on my phone to send her fucking dick pics while you're on fucking mission, idiot. That's what we're doing right now. We're being dumb when, when there's a whole fucking operation launched against our people, and we're being fucking dumb. Oh, Jamal, why are you calling your viewers dumb? You're the dummy. Don't don't come don't comment on this video. Don't be signing in my DM saying if you speak to people different, they're shut the fuck up. I've been doing that shit for three years. <laughs> Motherfuckers still ain't get it yet. So shut the fuck up. Nah, they listen instead, to instead everybody of, else yelling and screaming at them. Instead of commenting on my shit, how about you teach our people something? You fucked hard. Since you know. Since you know, right? You don't. When when do you see when do you see brain surgeons again uh, on YouTube and Instagram talking about oh fucking Doctor Schultz should do brain surgery this way and not this way? Nope, they're too busy doing fucking brain surgery. They don't got time to be looking at what another brain surgeon is doing unless they're studying how to perfect their craft. Then they'll study other brain surgeons. Not let me go watch his brain surgery and then fucking comment on how bad he's doing. While meanwhile, I'm doing absolutely fucking nothing. Do you know what a charging handle is? Do you know what a front sight post is? Do you know what BAMSIS means? 
Do you know what OPSEC is? Do you know what this means? Do you know what that means? Do you know what this means? Do you know what that means? If you don't, they shut the fuck up. You know what this means? You know what that means? You know what this means? You're ripping your set, cuz. <laughs> uh, it means something. I know, I know. If, if we had actual leaders, this would mean I need to talk to the fucking third squad leader, so come here. I need to talk to the second squad leader, so get your stupid ass over here. I need to talk to the first squad leader, so bring your stupid ass over here. Come here. I got I to gotta give you the plan so you can tell your fucking, your men what the fuck we're about to do. But nah, since everybody want to be the fucking team leader, there is no squad leaders, you idiots. See, you see our problem? Since everybody want to be the team leader, there are no squad leaders, which means there's no squads, you fucking idiots. Which means we can't accomplish shit. But nah, you want to be the team. Everybody want to be the team leader. Nobody want to be the squad leader. Where all the team leader does is make sure that the overall picture is good. The squad leaders are the motherfuckers implementing that shit. You know who gets the awards? The squad leaders, not the team leader. Why? Because that's that, that's that motherfucker's job. The squad leader that goes above and beyond their job, they get awards. They get recognition, you fucking retard. But nah, you want I just want to be the team leader for the title because you're a fucking idiot. You know who else gets the awards? The members of the squads. Not the fucking team leader, you fucktards. So instead of having 360 degree security, we want to fucking file paperwork. Which, if you read the counterintelligence program, you'll see where the FBI and CIA uses the IRS to gather information on our people to use it against them. But you want to be a fucking secure party creditor so bad that you want to submit your information to the to the IRS, get that EIN number so you can do this business. And I'm going to do this business for the upliftment of my people, even though they're going to tax you more according to your bracket, you fucking idiot. But no. I have to act like some something that I'm not to, you know, fuck that. You're getting it how you're getting it. I've been went over this. Go look at the video. Wake the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Congresswoman told you COINTELPRO 2.0 is on the rise. Wake the fuck up. Guess what they doing? Illegal break-ins, assassinations, illegal wiretaps, breaking into motherfucking houses, putting niggas in jail for no motherfucking reason. That's what they're doing. Show me one, show me one, they, they may use paperwork, but guess what they use paperwork for? To incite conflict between other people. That's what they use paperwork for. They don't, they don't say, you know what, Black Panther Party, I don't like what you're doing. We need you to stop. No, nah, they say, you know what, let's send Jeff for a letter and tell him that the Black Panther Party is trying to murder him so that way he shoots at them first and therefore we win. Divide and conquer. That's what they're using fucking paperwork for. You idiot! You want to be fucking holy moly macaroni. Where if I'm on the left, you on the right. Where if I'm love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Okay. If you're from love, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, what I just showed you is invoking justice, you fucking idiot. So how come you ain't doing it? Matter of fact, I get why you're not doing it because we're not prepared. So how come you're not fucking preparing for that shit? Stupid. Come on, don't call me stupid. Then stop acting like, like an idiot and I won't call you stupid. How about we strategize? How about we plan? How about we get our logistic game up? How about we have a fucking Moorish community out here so we can say, you know what? We can protect this whole area. Nobody coming in our shit. Nobody. Secure party motherfucking creditor. Stupid. But now let me let me go to the IRS's fucking website. Let me see if I can do the UCC fucking fucking.